Hey guys, this is William Myers from Mass Outdoors, and we just uh, ran into some poison ivy. So I'm going to show you the poison ivy, and then we got some other plants we're going to show you as well. All right, guys. So the old Boy Scout saying, "Don't be a dope. Don't touch the hairy rope." Well, I guess we should stress that out to my kids because he just walked right up to here and grabbed it asking me what it was so let's go help him out all right guys so the plant that I'm in front of right now is jewelweed and the nickname for this is touch me nots and we're gonna get the camera close and we're gonna show you kind of why it gets that uh, that term <clears throat> but um, from what I read it got the it got the word jewelweed because um, it's very pretty waxy on the top and the uh, water beads up on it and in the morning the light hits it, it looks like jewels on the leaves but uh, this is pretty much mother nature's answer to arusha oil from poison ivy so what we're going to do is we're going to get a close-up on this and then we're going to uh, pull some of this and rub it on connor's arm because uh, he exposed himself to poison ivy and he gets it just the way, the same way I do. He gets it really, really bad. So uh, let's get some close-ups on this, and then we'll put it on him. All right, guys. So this is jewelweed, and if you look right here, there's one of the seed pods, and the reason why it's called touch me knots is because of that. If you touch it, it blasts apart, 